How are you? Baruch Hashem, how are you? I just saw your kids, it's really nice to see them back from yeshivas or whatever, it's coming for the Seder. Yep. They told me a picture of, they told me a, a story of what happened to you like last year. They had like a, one of the guests by your Seder was a guy called Herb. Yeah. And somehow he basically was sitting by the kids table and he was complaining like, why do I have to sit by the kids table? You know, this stinks. Yeah. So then, you know, you said to your kids, you know, the Seder would not be complete without a bit of herb. <laughs> All right. And you make these up or uh, you read them somewhere? Because uh, they're originals, huh? I can't wait for the Torah karaoke to start. <laughs> what can you give me that's going to take okay. me to greater heights this Pesach? I okay. want to be inspired. Anyways, I'll tell you something very interesting. The way of the world has become a little cuckoo that the... That's actually a sign of Mashiach That the younger generation Tells the older generation Be with the times man Do do what's uh, You guys are old fashioned Why don't you live up To what the times have changed All about Pesach Perhaps the main mitzvah of Pesach Is no 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 The children ain't telling the parents what to do Rather V'hoya ki sholcha bincha the children are asking the, the parents, how do we keep connected to the old tradition? Hmm. We are not here to tell you what to do. We, we want to learn from you, from your life's experience and from, from the previous generations. That, that connection to the link and the terrible chutzpah of today's days is, is what, what causes all the chaos in the education of the children. And I heard a geschmack of art, actually. One of the one of the ways to not to have that happen is uh, you drive. We're driving a car now. We're driving when it's during the day, but if you're driving nighttime, um, a, a beautiful muscle is you know when you're driving and somebody puts on the light in the middle of the car, then the driver can't see what's outside. When it's when it's dark inside, then he could see outside. And the nimshel, somebody said a beautiful muscle. Uh, but uh, somebody said, said it's so beautiful. When when you bring light in your own home, you don't have to see anything outside. You don't have to be influenced by the outside world. When it's dark in your house, when it's d depressing in your house, that's when you, they start getting influenced from outside. Oh, oh I'm not done yet. The always in, uh, keep keep your applause for that. Okay. The appetizer is delicious, though. <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, the chiyuv is the chiyuv of chinuch to educate your children with light, with excitement with beautiful uh, thoughts and reason why they want to stay connected to the old tradition and not tell not tell you what to do. Actually, Parsha Shemini, the Parsha that we're in, is exactly that story. There's a, a, f a real funny incident that the Medrash says that happened in this week's Parsha, that the uh, Nadav Avil were walking behind Moshe and Aaron, and they were muttering to themselves, oh, Moshe and Aaron, these old people, when could it, we can't wait for the time that they pass out and we take over? You know, we're talking about the Gedoy Shaya Kara. We're talking about Nadav uh, Avil, the sons of Aaron. They're waiting to let the old people pass on and we'll take over. It really shocks. The, uh, in the Farshim, everybody talks about it. Hmm. But let's say in simple, edelah words, Moshe and Aaron, uh, Nadav Avil felt in Kedusha, in Kedusha. Moshe and Aaron are very kind people. Aaron is a Oyev Shalom, Vered of Shalom. Moshe Kippur Torah Messina, he gives it to every Yid, and Torah is Chesed. And they felt, you can't just be so open, so giving, so, come, so uh, free to everybody. We have to be, we got to put the letter of the law down. We got to be more serious with our Yiddish guide. Now, there is a, there is such a movement, but, but they're forgetting, they forgot that Moshe and Aaron are the parents, and that's their way of life, or at least be more tolerant to another way of life. And muttering, oh, wait for them to pass on, and we're taking over, and our our way is the right way. That's not the right. That's the, not the right approach. The approach is to have that link going, and have that link strong to the past. And if there are different ways to serve Hashem, fine. But everybody has to live in peace and harmony. And I'd like to conclude that, but I mean, Shemini, it says that uh, after the Shemini Lemaluim. After Shmini the Aluim, the Abish there 
uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, uh, Aaron sees this, and he says, Vayivarchem, and he gave them a bracha, and he gave them a bracha. What is R- Rashi says, what's the bracha that he gives them? He gives them, Birchas Kain in them, Yivarechacha Hashem Yishmaracha. So every the Sifsichacham and others say, everybody knows that Birchas Kain in is Yivarechacha Hashem Yishmaracha. Why does he say that there? Why does Rashi spell out what Birchas Kain is? And the answer, a beautiful answer is, Birchas Kain in Yivarechacha Hashem Yishmaracha wasn't said yet. It's Ashton Parshas Nasai. They said it early. It was a bracha, and the nusach of this bracha was on his own. But when the Abish just heard that bracha, when the Abish heard that bracha, said, "Wow, that's a good bracha," and, and it became what what the, what the nusach of bracha of Yerecha Hashem Yishmerach of the Berachas Kainim it is. So we should all learn to be live in peace and be in harmony with others. And the Abish says Yashikoyach, and he turns it into a mitzvah in Always amazing. Koshen Frelchem Pesach. Koshen Frelchem Pesach.